Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I will be opening 189 total alpha packs. And I just want to first apologize for not uploading for like two months at this point, but I was working on a Red Dead video, and I got kind of got sidetracked. I mean, I finished it, it's ready to edit, and that should come out maybe early March. I don't want to make any promises, but I have to put together and edit the whole video. After that, I realized, hey, I'm kind of close to opening a decent amount of alpha packs, so I'm going to do that. So we're going to open 150 alpha packs, and a few of these just like random ones, like this Red Hammer pack, this Christmas pack, Snow Brawl, and some of the esports packs that I've saved up. And I think these have been saved up for over a year, so I'm not sure about that. Let's just get these ugly ones out of the way. Like the Red Hammer pack, it's just a scam. Like, half of the stuff that you can get out of this is just operator cards. And I think I took a picture, if I did I'll show it up uh, right here. It was like over 250,000 renown or something for every item in this collection. Which is just a scam. None of them look good. I mean, the only one that looks good is this Thermite one that's slightly animated. But other than that, all of them are kind of ugly. Let's see. Purple? I mean, it's okay, but so many... I, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of this at all. The same thing with this holiday packs. This should be a Ying skin? I believe so. Yeah, it is. I'm just not a big fan of this. This is honestly not that bad, I'm gonna be honest. Probably one of the best things, but I think the, uh... The kind of blue ice skin was my favorite out of that. Now let's get through these... Awful packs. The Snow Brawl collection, I would say, is one of my least favorite events. I don't know, it just wasn't really fun. And we get a charm. Alright, probably never gonna use that thing. Purple? At least make it like a headgear or something. Actually, that is... Really cool. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and equip that. It's actually sick. I like that more than any of the headgears. Alright, I'm actually happy with that. Now that we have all the trash ones out of the way, let's just go ahead and get the esports packs. I want to talk about Year 8 of Siege a little bit. You probably don't care about this, but it looks really good. Just like that skin, actually. Why not? I don't use the Bearing 9. It's a nice skin. Yeah, Year 8 of Siege actually looks very good, and it looks like Siege is coming back, potentially, that they might um, revive the game, because let's be honest, even if you like Siege like I do, the game's been on life support for, what, three years now, I'd say about? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the game's been on life support for a while, and... Okay, Buck and Frost, Gold Chibis, that's cool. But it looks like Ubisoft is actually trying to fix their... You can get battle pass points out of these? Okay, I don't really need them, So I'm already like a tier 120 or something. Wow. Now for an uncommon, it's not terrible. I've seen way worse. What was I saying I was getting sidetracked? Oh yeah, year 8 does look amazing. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, just opening these packs. It's just going to be a glorified podcast, honestly. What? This is a... Sure, why not? Didn't know that was a skin at all. Honestly, so far, these esports packs are going pretty well. 1,500 battle points. Okay. Three battle points in a row? I would so much rather have just the normal eSports skins. Okay. Why not? Let's go for four in a row. Ah, oh, no. It's kind of nice. I do like that. I mean, it's better than the battle points. Okay, I actually do like that one. Yeah, I'll equip it, why not? I would say my favorite part of year 8, though, or like the- Okay, that's cool, because I already have the uniform. Let's go, that's actually really cool. But I would say my favorite part of year 8, since I'm a console player, is easily uh, Mousetrap, the anti-cheat- Alright, more battle points. The anti-cheat that they are adding on consoles to kind of kill Zims, which is great. If you don't know, Zim is- Essentially, something that you can just buy from a third party that just gives you mouse and keyboard on console. So basically just lets you cheat. And they've been rampant for about five years, I'd say. They've been here for a while, and they are just- that's another complete uniform. But they are just now putting a solution out there for it. I mean, it took them a long time, but I'm just happy that they're finally, like, acknowledging that console actually exists, which is really cool, because... Game companies just don't really do that anymore, they just drop the game, drop a couple DLCs, and then just let the game either die or live for five years. They just drop it and don't care. 
And a lot of the, just the white and black esports skins. Okay, another one. I mean, they're pretty solid skins. I just personally prefer diamond, that's what I run on most of the guns. Hold on, I was at tier like 120 something. I wanna see, I'm gonna exit out after this and we can see how many I have gotten. Like how many l tiers in the battle pass that I have gotten just from them alone. Like these esports packs. And these went pretty well though. I've gotten a lot of, well, we completed Vigil's, uh, Vigil's set there. Anything but battle pass tokens. All right. Also talking about year eight, the new operator looks absolutely insane. Brava, how she can just hack uh, defenders gadgets and use them against the defenders. That looks really cool. And she will probably be banned in every ranked game. Even though I think I saw a thing, I'm not entirely sure where it said like you cannot ban the new, okay. You cannot ban the new operator for like two weeks. So I think that's when they go live for everybody else. If you don't buy the, the battle pass, because if you buy the battle pass, you unlock the operator instantly. I feel like I got way more levels than that. Only three? I guess it's 5,000 per, I guess. All right, now it's time to open all 150 alpha packs. My main, or the main thing that I want out of all of these alpha packs is like anyone else who opens alpha packs, black ice. Or some really nice skins, but I would really love black ice. Oh, that's really, really ugly, honestly. Normal siege skins, that ugly. Is this a seasonal? Yep. I mean, this is probably one of the better looking seasonals at least. It fits Maverick well. It's better than um, Demon Vell, okay. Legendary, first legendary, three packs in. Okay, yep, there we go, instantly. That is such a nice skin. I might have to start playing Thorn and Maverick more because that is really, really nice. I can't Legendary third pack, though, that's kind of crazy. I mean, not bad. But uh, yeah, going back to Brava, she... I don't know, I feel like it'll just change up the game a bunch in like a really good way. Because this is obviously the first operator of like this kind that can turn like a Echo Cam or a... What are, a Yokai Drone, that's what they're called. And make it like shoot defenders so you can like win the game by stopping a plant. Black Ice, maybe? Uh, I, th I swear I already had this skin. I guess I didn't. And the new reload thing that's coming with Season 1. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, the new reload canceling thing where they're taking that out of the game. That doesn't really bother me. Oh, we just got the cheese pizza skin. That is so ugly. Yeah, the reload canceling though really doesn't bother me. Because it's like, eh. It's just a change they decided to make. Oh. I didn't know oil spill was on this gun. It looks nice. I really love Black Ice for that gun. So I really like the P9. More ugly seasonal skins. I don't even remember what season Neo Dawn was. Oh, mushrooms. Yep. Can't wait to see how much uh, renown we have. I'm surprised it took this long to get a duplicate, actually. But I might open more packs with all the renown. I mean, I can buy five total right now. We'll see. I may save it up for another alpha pack opening in a year, because it'll take that long to get this amount again. The frost rework that is coming in season two, I believe. Hold on, let me check that. Yes, frost rework, season two. A lot of people are upset about it, but again, it's just a change that I'm like, okay. I mean, I don't really play frost as much as I used to. I used to main her. She was my main, and I just kind of changed my play style and started playing other defenders. I mean, her gadget is mainly intel anyway, as like, you hear someone scream, you know they're down in a frost mat, and you can just pre-fire, like, through a wall, because you'll obviously know where it is. Or if you hear them, like, get revived out of it, it'll break. Another legendary, wow. But yeah, that frost change, it's... I see why they made it, because it is kind of annoying just to sit there in a frost mat and bleed out. Why didn't... Oh no, I have a different skin for the P9. Or the P10 Roni, I don't know why I just called it the P9. It's alright. But it is kind of annoying just to have to sit there and bleed out in a frost mat for like a minute if no one comes and claims you. Yeah, they're just trolling with ice, man. But yeah, it's... Wow, black ice for the P9, alright. 
Well, you ask and you shall receive, I guess. <laughs> I think now all I need is black ice for the... 417. Because I have it for the F2, the shotgun, the revolver, and now the P9. Wait, that, that means I have a full set of black ice for Ace, Doc, and Rook. Now, I'll show, you, I'll show that after it. I'll show the full set for Rook, Doc, and Ace. No, I mean, a new black ice can't be that mad. Pretty early on, too, we've opened, what, I have 150. That was the 130th. We opened 20 alpha packs, two legendaries, two, three purples, I believe, and one of them being brand new black ice. Pretty good odds, honestly. But still wait for Maverick again. There's no way. Two and three packs? Oh, that... That is the one I wanted. I wanted this so much. Wow. I'm honestly in shock. Two and three packs? And this is one of the guns I wanted it on the most for, like, the base guns in the game. Wow, I am... Alright, this was worth it. Saving up for... What, three months, I believe? Two or three months of just playing the game? This is definitely, definitely just been worth it. You know, save up for maybe an entire year or just a... Okay, I couldn't get that lucky. Hey, I can't be mad though. Black Ice for the M59. One of my favorite shotguns in the game, one I've wanted for years. But yeah, I'm definitely going to just keep doing these because I have fun. The only problem is gaining renown in this game sucks so bad that... See, like 600 for a duplicate, you get... What is it, 150 for a loss if you're just playing quick match? Like, maybe 230, 250 for a win? So it just takes months if you want to save up to like 150 alpha packs. And honestly, that's not even a lot. I'm like, I just... I don't know. Every time I look at this skin, I just think of a cheese pizza and it makes me think of CC's pizza. I swear I've had all of these seasonal skins before, I guess. It's on different... Steel Wave? Alright. Back-to-back Steel Wave. Three in a row? There's no way three steel waves in a row. Parabellum. Alright. Oh, a rare blue. Blues really are rare. And that is horrible. This is... This honestly might be the worst we've gotten. At least worst headgear. Definitely. Is that consulate? I don't know why, I'm just rambling about the new season. That is... terrible. But uh, the consulate rework looks alright. It honestly looks a little bit like the chalet rework. Oh, the 417. Wish I had black eyes for that. But the consulate rework looks a little like the chalet rework, in my opinion, where it changes a little bit of stuff, but it will make the map, like, better. Because I know a bunch of the community just hates consulates. I believe the oldest unreworked map. It was consulate... Consulate was either a year one map... No, I think it was a base game map. And it's just now getting reworked in year eight, which is kind of wild. But yeah, I know a bunch of commu a bunch of the community hates that map, but I feel like the rework will make it better and more people will enjoy it and you'll actually get to play it in ranked. Okay, this was our last purple. And for the rest of the maps, I think it was a new map in Season 4, because we're not getting a new map in Season 1. Season 2 is console rework. We don't get anything for 3. And 4 is the new map that nothing's been revealed for. Okay, I was going to say I definitely have that, yeah. I mean, the perfect legendary skin. The only uh, the only skin you should be running on this is Black Ice. If it has it, I'm not sure. Or the banana skin, because the banana skin is amazing. Mushroom or triple helix? I swear, this triple helix skin looks exactly like a mushroom, and I think an old skin that was in the game that might have been removed, or I just can't remember the name. I think I have it on... I think... No, it's called Spore. Spore, mushroom, and the triple helix skin look the same. Okay, this is... How is this a rare? This is like a common. Come on, please. Any of the new Black Ice would be incredible. Aw. If it was for the Type 89, I would have went insane. I love this gun and Black Ice on it looks insane as well. That's... You know, that's going on. That's actually really nice. I was gonna say, I swear more operators had the Super Shorty other than... Clash, Castle, and Gridlock. I guess Recruit is the one I'm thinking of, because he's the only one that I can think that would have the Super Shorty. That is disgusting. It's such an ugly skin. Another weapon, I was just about to say another weapon that looks amazing with Black Ice is Zero's S3K. Ooh, Capital's LMG. 
I don't use this thing, but I think I'm going to now. Wow. That's been pretty lucky, honestly. 50 packs, 3 new Black Ice. This has honestly been pretty lucky. 50 packs, well not even 40, uh, not even 50 packs, 48 alpha packs. And we've gotten 3 brand new Black Ice. Like, non-duplicate Black Ice. And this one's new, because this was added, um, after all of the new Black Ice, obviously. Which they really should have added earlier. Because <laughs> that's been out for like a year or two, I believe. Where they started adding Black Ice to every operator past Buck and Frost. Because originally, I would say for the first five years of the game, maybe even six, you could only get Black Ice on the base operators and Buck and Frost. Because they came into the game in year one, season one, Black Ice. Well, I guess Monty and Blitz. They never had black ice on their shields until they decided to give everybody black ice on their guns. More ugly seasonal skins. They really should have kept the common tier in here and just early ice. Okay. I was about to say Ubisoft's trolling me, but I can't really say that. Three black ice. And honestly, not a lot of duplicates. I honestly expected to have like 50,000 renown by this point. Because I think the last one I did that I never uploaded was just mainly duplicates. Wow, okay. Alright, that I believe is now Twitch. Um, full set Black Ice as well. Okay, ask and you shall receive yet again. I asked for the P9. I've been wanting the M8, or the, not the M8, the M59 for years. And I asked for the 417 and I got it. Okay, can I have the ARX Black Ice, Jackal C7E, or Habanus Type 89 Black Ice? Might as well ask, I mean, it worked for the 417, the P9, and I guess technically the M5. Or the SMG-11. I would love to have the SMG-11 Black Ice. You know, that's not awful. I, I have that? Alright, didn't expect to have that skin, honestly. Waves again, yep. I swear, waves used to be a, uh, a common skin. I know they're commons don't exist anymore, but they would have just had to boost it up, because that's what they did with Capital's headgear, Calico Jack, it used to be a common, and then now it's an uncommon. Okay, waves again. Really want me to have the wave skin, I think it's the third time I've pulled it. That we were... Oh, alright. Ooh, another legendary, this is the third? I honestly want Nox Mop Head. Or one of the other cool legendary headgears. I didn't have that. You know, might as well equip it, why not? Legendary cosmetic. I don't know how to feel about this. It's okay. It's alright. I mean, there's way better, like, u legendary uniforms or headgears to get, but it's okay. Oh, that's the other one I was thinking of. It's Nox Mop Head and the Bag Head. Two was that two legendaries in three packs? All right, I mean, it's, it's not bad. Very, very, very bright. At least it's not like the Blackbeard, um, shoot me here construction hat. Did we open four packs, get two legendaries and a black ice? Oh my God, I caught it for the MP5 SD. All right, wow, this is, this is going insanely well. I, another operator, I, I didn't really main him, but that looks really sick. Alright. It's probably like the best alpha pack opening I've ever had. Alright, it had to calm down a little bit. Oh, okay, it was just the way the light was showing. I'd probably never use it, but for an uncommon, it's honestly not that bad. Didn't look like a toddler kind of drew the logo. Have a look at the rare and uncommons. It is very rare to find a good looking skin, but when you do, it does look really nice. Come on. You know what? Just a new black ice and I'll be happy. Just, ooh, for that. Actually, I don't know if I would want it for that LMG. I mean, I would take it, but when I that was when I got back into Siege playing was for that Finko meta. I took like two months break from the game, and then I came back during that awful, 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 awful Finka meta. I think they didn't nerf her because there was a major, I think, going on at the time. I think it was the Charlotte major. 
but there was a major, and she got nerfed like right after that happened. But every team had a Finca. It was like if you didn't have a Finca, you were just asking to lose, honestly. I mean, she's still really good, but at least they took away her grenades. Oh my god, a purple and then another gold? Maybe one of the cool knock headgears? What is this? This is kind of awful. I mean, I, I would so much rather prefer black ice on it. I already have it. I think I got it in the one I never posted, actually. You know, at this rate, I might as well have all the seasonal skins. More of them? Yep. Crimson Heist. Alright. We're down to only 70 packs left after this. It's been kind of going fast, but... I mean, it's been really good. A two of the new Black Ice, uh, the P9, the M5. I will gladly take that. And also, getting all these seasonal skins makes it good in the future, because when I decide to do... Uh, more of these alpha pack openings. It's just more renown, which I can use to open more packs. Trust me, I don't have an addiction. I can stop whenever I want. Okay, that is horrible. Yeah, the solar raid isn't that good. Solar raid again? Nope, whatever this is. Shadow Legacy. It just looks like she walked into like a Bass Pro Shop and just said, I'm going to go lay in the bushes and hunt some ducks. So painful to see the... I would say the... Okay, ice again. Yep. I actually don't have it for this weapon. I know my friend, he opens alpha packs sometimes. He has like six of those. Mm. Uh, again, I... I just don't think the solar raid looks good, honestly. Okay, I want someone to explain... Someone needs to explain to me what is different about this than just not having a uh, skin on the gun. I, I don't see any differences from, oh, the stripes. You're telling me they literally added some white stripes to the bottom of the gun here and called that a brand new skin because this is just the default no skin with some lines on it. You know, all the crap I've talked about Solar Raid, I think that might be the worst skin I've pulled just for the fact it had some white lines, like doing a reverse zebra impression on the basic gun skin. But the Gon 6 has skins? I didn't know that, actually. It's honestly kind of ugly. I think I would rather just run with the default. Why don't you give me black eyes for the Gon 6, if that's even possible? Ah. No, I wouldn't mind it on Kavera's pea shooter of a gun. I'd actually start using it then. I think, okay, wow, back-to-back -back purples? I was going to say I think I'm going to start using Capital more. What? I'm fine with Calico Jack. I like that skin anyway. Okay, that was a... I don't know how that's purple. I would honestly rather say this Phantom Sight headgear is more of a purple than that Capital was. You know, it doesn't look terrible. I feel like Solar Raid would look even worse. I, no, I think Wind Bastion is the worst, um... Okay, that's what I thought it was for a second. I think Wind Bastion is probably the worst seasonal skin. That's the cheese pizza one I hate so much. Ooh. New Black Ice? Nope, G36E. Okay, no, we got a duplicate of that other one. I was about to say, is this the third different uh, G36E skin we've gotten? But, no. I'll tell you, that is a good weapon. With the extended barrel change that they added, that is... Okay, first of all, I have that, but the extended barrel change has just made attackers honestly insane, because, oh my god, it looks like he just rolled around in mud. What is this? I'm getting sidetracked. The extended barrel change that they did where the extended barrel just gives your gun way more damage, that is horrifying, like horrifically ugly. Uh, the G36C is actually like a viable weapon to use on Ayana. And Ash, I know it's always been good before. I would honestly say it's better than the ARX. I mean, I love the ARX, that's what I used forever. But I just think for the fact that it only does a few less damage, I can't remember the exact number, but it has like 32 or 36 bullets and the ARX only has 21. I feel like you're better off just using like the G36C. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I will tell you what is overpowered, though, are the two weapons, or the three weapons, actually, that we just got that. The three weapons that do the most damage are the Commando at 54, I believe, Capital's Para, okay, another legendary, Capital's Para at around 52, 53, maybe 54 in zeros, uh, SK-3000, I think is the name of the gun, his primary, that's not the MP7, his rifle. Does 54 as well, it's insane. No, I honestly might use it, I'm not sure. I kind of like the Battle Pass headgear I have from Lucy a little bit better. I've honestly lost track of all the chibis they ha they have added. Because you just get them through like these random alpha packs you'll open and just completely forget you have them. I won't forget this Black Ice that I have though. Ah. Oh, if Black Ice is on the vector... Ooh. I know Black Ice is on most guns, I just like have not been able to find like a like a full list of every gun that has them. I think every year one, two, and maybe three has them now. Okay, that is that's ugly. It looks like the true moo um, strawberry milk you'd get back in middle school. I have no idea why that's the first like thought that my mind has, but it was. Ah, I thought it was. I thought it was for the Commando for a second. That would have been crazy with how powerful that Commando is right now. Like, it makes Grim usable. His gadget's a little awful, but... And you don't really need a gadget if you have a Commando with like 35 bullets it shoots. Or that's a two-shot on a three-speed defender, you're fine. Let's see, oh. Didn't I already have this? Okay, no. Back to back? Wow. Brand new black ice? Oh my god, it was. Wait, this gun has black ice on it! I mean, I guess every gun in the game does have black ice on it now. And I got what I wanted. I said I wanted one more brand new black ice. Can't be mad, I guess. Wow, this is... Back to back? Ooh. Oh, I feel it's for the ARX. I was gonna lose my mind. If it was back-to-back, -back, brand new Black Ice, that would have been crazy. But, well, so far, no duplicate Black Ice. I just jinxed it, didn't I? Oh. Wow, this is incredible. That's all I have to say is this is just genuinely incredible. I recently switched back to using the... It's Mute's SMG, the M... MP5K, yeah. I switched back to using the MP5K on Wamai, but I might have to switch right back to the AUG. And once the extended barrel thing gets nerfed with IQ, I might go back to the um, AUG for her. I'm shocked at the like little amount of duplicates we've gotten. We've only gotten up, what, over 25,000 or down? Because we were at 25K, we're at... That is really bad. <laughs> that is really ugly. Yeah, we've only gotten, like, what, 30,000 Renown? About? I think I'm gonna just spend the rest of the Renown, honestly, just buy more Alpha Packs. Because this has been going incredibly well. There's no way in these last 20 packs we get enough to get 125. What is this, like, the fourth Legendary? You know? Honestly, cool. Looks a bit like a Fortnite skin. But it's fine. Hey, that goes perfect with the new black ice for the MP5, or the MP5SD. Ooh. Let's go. Ah. I already have black ice for that shotgun, too. Would've just been kind of sad if I did. Down to the last ten packs, let's see. Final, well, final ten before I buy, like, ten more. Again, not terrible. Steel Wave, honestly, looks like the best seasonal skin, because it just works with so many operators. Ooh, can we? Uh, ooh, for glasses, DMR would have been nice, which I apparently have that skin. Another uncommon steel wave, at least if it's seasonal. No, pair ember rise. I was gonna say parabellum. Another purple. Could this be either the SMG11, C7E, honestly Frost Stein, Buck C8? I'm asking for way too much. The ARX, the D. Oh my God, I. Yeah, that's instant. That's an instant equip right there. I love the Desert Eagle. One of my favorite secondaries. Definitely gonna have to be playing more Valkyrie. 
Or a zombie, actually. Yeah, probably a zombie and Valkyrie, because Blackbeard is trash, and I'm not really good at knock. I mean, at least I think I can finally say Blackbeard is no longer the worst operator in the game. I would say Grim is worse. If his ability lasted a little bit longer, he wouldn't be. Okay. I mean, it's nice. Kind of looks a little bit like the base skin, just like no skin on the gun anyway. My god, that suppressor is so massive. What, the D50, you know? That's... I did not expect that. Yeah, Steel Wave! I will say Steel Wave has to be my favorite seasonal skin. I'm just shocked out. I already have the shotgun. I called it earlier. When we got that skin for the shotgun, I would say that's depressing. I mean... What was that? 149 alpha packs and only one black ice duplicate? Every other black ice was brand new? I can't be mad at that. I mean, it hurts to see the words duplicate above your black ice. But wow, I just cannot be mad with all that luck I was given. There we go, that's 150 alpha packs in about 40 minutes. Don't worry, we have... yeah, 112,000. Yeah, screw it. I, I'll just save. I'll just buy as many alpha packs as I can. Don't do this. If you're ever at 60k, just save. Because it is definitely not worth it. I'm just gonna buy as many as I can. Let's go. An extra 13 alpha packs for 60,000 renown. It's definitely not worth it with how hard it is to get. And considering 50 is 200,000? Yeah. I don't know. This could be worth it. Could get all of those black eyes that I just listed. Honestly, if I get one more black ice, I would be incredibly happy. Come on, one more. One more to end it right now. This looks burnt. What happened to him? Okay, yeah, that is really ugly. Our last two packs. Maybe one more black ice to send us off. Okay, Solar Rare was just apparently... Or Solar Raid was a rare that I just didn't notice. The last alpha pack... Making it, what, 161 normal alpha packs? The 33 esports, the 3 Christmas, the 1 Red Hammer, that's what that's called, and then the the 1 Snow Brawl. This is what it's all down to. About 3 months of work for a blue. Okay. And it's Acid Rain. Okay, I cannot be entirely mad about that because... Um, where is it? I got one of the skins I wanted the most. And now I have a full set... When did I put that sight on it? Hold on. Never remember putting that sight on it. But that just looks so beautiful. That looks nice too, the full set. Hold on, where's Twitch? Now that is beautiful. The full set of black ice. The F2, 417, the shotgun, the P9, and the revolver. And I think that completes Ace's set too now. Because he is the P9. Yep. That is just so beautiful. It's crazy I was this successful. Yep, Doc and Rook, the same thing. I guess I don't have it for the Bailiff, but don't look at that. Complete set right here. What were the new ones we got? We got Capital's LMG. I remember that one. Slight voice crack. But that looks so good. There's um, Echoes, MP5SD, and the D50 is what it was. Jeez, that looks so nice. I'll just go to Valkyrie. Didn't mean to kick that. There we go. That was incredibly successful. That was really sick. So now that we are out of packs, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will hopefully see you in early March with that Red Dead Redemption video. And the next Alpha Pack opening video will probably be in the next couple of months, or maybe even a year. Just depends if I want to do like another, what was this, like 180 to 190 in total, or to save up. Maybe for 300, 500, maybe even go insane for 1,000. But I just want to again thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.